Hey everybody, welcome back. So the first thing I noticed right away is there's a Terry Bogard poster in the background here. So that's a nice little nod by SNK and the developers of this game. But no, so Metal Slug Tactics, I think was one of the best looking games of E3. And I played a lot of strategy role, strategy games before and strategy role playing games, but I've never played one with roguelike elements and randomly generated maps. So this has the potential to be a really new experience for me, and I've always liked the Metal Slug series. I've always wished I'd played more of those games, and I'm the, I might just have to in order to get caught up on maybe some of the lore and just to experience them because they're a good time. So let's check this out, and then afterwards I'm going to watch the trailer for Eastward too because that game looks pretty good as well. So let's check it. Marco! Theo! Dharma! Man, I was wondering if we'd see the anime opening again. And this game is just oozing with style too. Oh, there's a mech too. Man, love love the cutaways. That character art looks fantastic. Yeah. Oh man. And the the, the iconic metal slug tank too. Just Oozing style. Let's check that out one more time. Yeah, the sprites are looking so good. I'm, I'm wondering how many tanks we'll be able to have in Battle 2 alongside our characters. And I don't know why. I always was under the impression that randomly generated maps could be annoying. I think maybe Diablo did that to me back in the day, but I'm curious to play another game with him. Because I haven't played a lot. Yeah, definitely getting that post-apocalyptic vibe. A lot of the maps... Yeah, so we haven't seen too many in terms of different biomes, so like a lot of desert and kind of like dusty looking terrain so far, but hopefully there'll be like jungles and cityscapes. I think we've seen some cityscapes in the other trailer too. And destroyable environments as well. And the classic POW sprite too. How's that bike gonna work? No, looks hot. Looks super hot. Can't wait to play it. And I love how they have a... A Switch version announced for the game too. I think that's a wise choice in terms of platform. And it makes sense that it's on the Switch because the Switch has had a lot of indie titles, obviously, and it's had a lot of strategic games as well because they've always had Fire Emblem and then obviously Advance Wars, which had a big lull there, but now we're getting a new Advance Wars game too. So this is going to be right at home on the Switch. So what do y'all think of Metal Slug Tactics? I think it's definitely one I'm going to be checking out for sure. This trailer hasn't changed my mind. It's just solidified the fact that I'm probably going to end up playing it. So as always, thanks for joining me for this Game Work Reaction. I'll see you later.